Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're taking a look at sheet sets. In particular, I'm gonna show you what they are, how they work, and how they can benefit you, as well as how to set up a basic sheet set quickly, a few different use cases, as well as examples in the video. If you haven't used sheet sets or you're looking for a refresher, this is gonna be a great one for you. Let's jump right in. All right, so getting started, a sheet set is basically the index or directory of a set of drawings within a project. It's the overall list of all of these sheets within it, and that's why it's called a sheet set. It's your set of sheets. Now, you can see here, I've got the sheet set manager open, and this is where you're going to create, edit, and work with them within AutoCAD. This is gonna allow you to edit properties within your drawings, batch plot a handful of different layouts or sheets all from a single menu. This is super helpful if you have large projects with multiple drawings and sets. This is gonna allow you to kind of keep track of them all through this list without having to open each individual DWG. It also allows you to have a single layout or multiple layouts in individual DWG files, yet combine them all into your sheet set so that you don't have to look or dig around for these files. You can simply right click and open them from your sheet sets. You can always know where they are, as well as print a handful of DWGs from one menu and one button. Now, to create a new sheet set, you're going to want to open the sheet set manager. So type SSM for that short command and hit enter. Now you're gonna see a menu or manager just like this. Uh, Today we're just gonna be looking at the basics, but you can dive deeper into these, including creating custom sheet views and model views. But for today, we're gonna to be creating a sheet list that includes the layouts of a few different drawing sheets that we're gonna set up. So up at the top here, you're gonna to wanna to create a new sheet set. And from there, you're gonna get the sheet set creation wizard. Now here, you've got a few different options. If this is your first one, you're gonna use an example sheet set, but if you've got old sheet sets or ones you've done previously, you can use those as your starting point or template. Hitting next here gives you a few options of which one to use as your example. You're gonna to wanna to choose something like the new sheet set, which is going to be just blank to begin with and not too complicated. As you get a little bit more advanced into sheet sets, you can create sheet sets that have built-in templates for different sheet types and will create your sheets kind of automatically for you. But if you've got drawings already and you're trying to just create a sheet set and import them in, you're going to want to start likely with a new sheet set that is blank. Selecting this is going to allow us to hit next. You can also browse to a previous one. So once you've created one that you like, you can simply browse to it and use it as an example for each new sheet set, bringing over the same settings each time. Hitting next is going to let us choose a new name for our sheet set. We're going to call this one example project. And you can put a description in here so you know what is contained within the sheet set. You could be IFT or IFC drawings. It could be preliminary or concept. You can get as detailed as you want in your description. Now, this field here is where you're going to store or save your .dst, which is the sheet set file. You're gonna to wanna to put this in your project folder since this is tied to the drawings within there. Typically, you're gonna wanna to want to put it in your sheet or uh, production drawing folder or the folder above it uh, somewhere in that area. You just wanna keep it consistent so you can always find these because what you can do is simply open a sheet set in this menu and then use it to open your other drawings. So it should be one of the first files that you can find in a project folder. I'm gonna save it to my example one here and we're gonna click sheet set properties. Now these properties, if you're just using a sheet set to say uh, combine and plot multiple drawings, these ones aren't too important. But if you want to create a custom title block that includes the fields from your sheet sets, you can automatically populate things like your drawing numbers, your drawing names, uh, review initials and dates, drawn by initials and dates, those kind of things, phases, project numbers, milestones, revision numbers. All of that can be custom made 
and populated through your sheet sets, allowing you to make all of these updates without actually opening any of your drawings. This can be a huge time saver when it comes to large scale projects, especially those with multiple drawing sets, like different phases or areas of a site. With that being said, in today's video, we're just explaining what sheet sets are and how they work. But if you'd like to learn more as well as implement them into your drawing templates, you can check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course and choose the sheet set add-on. Between the course and the add-on, I go over a handful of different use cases, including creating custom fields and properties that will populate in your title blocks as you set up your project. Again, that course is packed with everything from template creation to drawing production, everything in between like external references, uh, custom exports and PDFing, as well as a ton of best practices and tips. You can get the course up above at the link or down below in the description. That's my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course, and it's discounted for viewers such as yourself using those links up above and down below. All right, so back to our sheet set properties. You can fill these out uh, as you make your sheet set, or you can always edit and change these later on in the process, and I'll show you how to do that. But for starters, typically you're gonna to wanna to put in your project number, your project name, as well as maybe a project phase like IFC or IFT, if you know that, or a milestone, those kind of things. Again, as I mentioned, you can edit custom properties, and for these properties, the sheet set properties, these are going to affect all of the drawings in the sheet set. If you'd like custom properties for each sheet, you can set those up as well. But these ones here, we'll add something like drawn by. So we're gonna put in drawn by, and this is going to be say your initials that you're gonna have on the title block. Now you can choose, like I said, who or which is controlled by this, individual sheets or the entire sheet set. So typically for initials, you're gonna want those on a sheet by sheet basis since different people could work on each individual drawing. Whereas things like a project name should be controlled by the entire sheet set since that is going to affect all of the drawings in the sheet set. This will make more sense as you move along and you can edit all of these later on in the process as well. For now, we'll just add the drawn by to our sheets as well as drawn date. And we'll do month, month. We'll do that. Hit OK, hit OK. And now you can see those custom properties are now added to our sheet set. And once you've got yours set up the way you like it, simply hit OK to finish that and hit Next. Now you can see all of the properties, including where this is gonna be saved, the different uh, properties and fields you've added, as well as what you've filled out. Hitting Finish is going to create our sheet set. And now we're ready to add a sheet to it. So you're going to need a drawing with a saved layout. You can see here I've got this example drawing and we're going to simply copy the link for it. Make sure you've saved your drawing first and then simply right click on your sheet set and import a layout as a sheet. Now this is importing this specific layout into our sheet set and adding it into our package. Now you can do this from as many DWGs as you need. And once they're added into here, you can organize them in any way you'd like. Once you've selected the drawing, you're gonna see a list of the different layouts within that drawing. It's gonna tell you the layout name and you can check it on or off if you'd like to add it to your sheet set. You can also get it to add the sheet title along with the file name. I'm going to uncheck that since I don't want that displayed on my sheet set. Importing the checked is going to add it to my list. You can see it is locked and that means that the drawing is open and locked so someone else uh, or someone is using it. It just tells you if the drawing is open or not. So before we get too far along, I'm gonna show you what the fields or sheet set properties can do by adding a couple to this title block. So I'm going to uh, select my text and highlight it and I'm going to right click and choose insert field or you can use control plus F to quick insert. 
inserting a field I've talked about in plenty of videos. I'll put a few of them linked below so you can learn a little bit more about how powerful these things are. But basically they're going to replace a piece of text with a dynamic field, which is populated and filled out by some property within your drawing or from a sheet set property. Now you can choose the different categories. Sheet set is where we're going to want to go. And we're going to set this to our current sheet number. Now, current sheet means that these are controlled by the individual sheets in the list and current sheet set means it is controlled by that top level sheet set property. So those are going to affect the entire drawing set, whereas current sheets are individual drawings or sheets. Uh, so we're going to choose current sheet number and hit OK. Now this field is going to be populated by the sheet number that is assigned to this sheet here. We're also going to do this to the drawing name here. We're going to select it, highlight the text, right click and insert field. And this one we're going to use current sheet title and you can see what it's called here and hit OK. And then for the third one we're going to do right now is project title. So we're going to select it, right click, insert field. And in this one we're going to use the current sheet set project name. Now this again, like I said, is being controlled by the sheet set properties and not a single sheet property. This will make more sense once you use this a little bit more often, but these can be lifesavers and huge time savers when working with multiple drawings. Now, typically I don't recommend using sheet sets for one, two, or sometimes even three drawing packages, but anything more than that, these are going to save you a ton of time all throughout the project. Now, like I mentioned, you can now control these properties by right clicking on a single sheet and going to properties or clicking rename and renumber, which will let you quickly change the name and number of sheets in the list. For now, we're going to go to properties and you're going to see what's listed here. You can change things like the sheet title. So we're going to call this one, say site plan, and you can change your uh, sheet number. We're going to call this C100 and your initials. You could put those as mine. And for day here, we could do 04, 16, 16. So you can see I filled out a date as well as the initials. Now you can hit OK here and see pretty quickly that these have updated automatically, but they haven't updated on our drawing. To update any fields or uh, sheet set properties within your drawings, you need to type in regen after they've been updated or save the drawing. Saving will automatically update all of these fields for you. And the nice thing now is these are connected to that sheet. So you have a couple cool features from sheet sets as well. One is that you can open any drawing in the sheet set simply by right clicking on it and clicking open. Now this drawing is already open, but if you have say a long list of these and you're not sure where they're saved, right click on it and open it, it saves you the time of having to browse throughout a ton of project folders to open a single drawing that you may not have even worked on. You just need to make a few quick updates. Opening up the sheet set and then right clicking on the drawing and opening it is much faster. Now I'm quickly going to uh, update a few more fields here. One is going to be the initials. Like I mentioned, we're going to insert a field. We're going to go to current sheet custom because I created a custom one drawn by. We're going to enter that for date. We're going to select all of this, right click, insert field, and we're going to use current sheet custom and we're going to go drawn date. And you can see that those have both updated now and those are going to populate automatically based on each sheet. Now, once you've created a title block with these fields once, and like I said, I go through this in my course as well with that link up above and down below in a little bit more detail as well as some more custom options. Things you can also do with these fields is say you have notes and you always want to refer to the correct sheet number, even if that sheet number changes, you can insert this same field into that. So if you want to say something like refer to details on sheet C300, we'll insert the sheet number from the sheet set. And now it's always going to be linked. If that detail or note sheet changes, that number is going to be updated everywhere in your drawing set that you've used that field for.
This can be a huge benefit if drawing numbers are always changing. Filling out and setting these from the start of the project saves you a ton of headache later on. All right, so lastly, one thing I wanted to share is how we can add or multiply this quickly. So if you select your tab that you've got here and you right click and copy it, you can create a copy, choose move to the end, and it's simply going to create a new layout in your same drawing. Now, say you've got five or 10 or 15 drawings, whether they're in the same DWG or in multiple DWGs, you can add all of these to your sheet set using that same method we already showed you. So I'm just gonna save this drawing. I'm going to right click on my sheet set and import a layout as a sheet. Now we're gonna browse for our drawings. We're gonna choose that example one and you can see all of these are already available to be added. You can see the one that isn't is already part of our sheet. I'm gonna import them. You can see they're all here. And now I can simply use that rename and renumber. So we could call this one C102 site plan, hit next. You can call this one C200. So as quick as this is, all of these drawings are now going to be dynamically linked to our sheet set and they're going to update automatically each time we edit these properties in here. So now if I save the drawing or type regen again, all of these are updated per what we did here. And now you've got a sheet set that is linked to a handful of layouts. And like I said, this can be in individual DWGs or in the same WG, DWG or a combination of both, it doesn't matter. But that is what a sheet set is and how it works. From here, you can now get more detailed things like right clicking and creating new subsets, which is how you could organize different sets of drawings, whether it's a preliminary package or an IFC package, you can simply select which drawings you want, drag and drop them, and now they're part of that package. You can print these on command by simply right-clicking on the subset or on the top level DWG and choosing publish. From here, you can get the regular published dialog box that you're probably used to and plot your drawings from there. All of them will plot automatically. And the great thing is this can be in 10, 20, 30 different DWGs. All of the sheets are gonna show up and allow you to plot them with that single click. You have a handful of other options in here along with e-transmitting, which I highly recommend when you're packaging up your drawing sets to send out. This is going to package all of the required drawing files, including plot styles, line types, XRefs, imagery, data shortcuts, all of that can get packaged up into a zip file automatically for all of your drawings to be sent out. And you also have the ability to insert insert a sheet list table, which is basically your drawing list and it will be dynamically linked to your sheet set. So you can put that on your cover sheet so it's automatically updating with all of your changes. But that's all for today. I hope this helped explain what sheet sets are, how they work, and how to use them a little bit better. If you have any questions, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep getting updates and new videos weekly. And if you're interested, check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course where you can learn more about sheet sets as well as a ton of other awesome AutoCAD tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Cheers and have a good one.